Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. In today's video, we'll be continuing the photo scan tutorial. We'll be using a method called retopology to create a lower polygon version of this model so that we can actually use it in a video game. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is just deselect the model, make sure our 3D cursor is centered, and then Shift A, and we're going to add a cube. Going to go into the side view and wireframe mode and then into edit mode. And we're just going to match up the height and the width of the model. There we go. There we are. So we're going to jump into the top view. And we're basically going to do the same thing with the top. Just make sure that you're selecting the right face. Otherwise, you might move the bottom instead of the top. So we want the top selected. I'm going to move that to about over there, trying to match up with the sides of the, the model there. This is the bottom piece. There we go. Then we're just going to hit Control R, add a loop, loop cut there, and hit Control R and add one there. We're just going to move these out so that we match up the model a little bit better. There we go. It almost looks like a cylinder. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go to the modifiers tab, we're going to add a shrink wrap modifier, and we're going to set the target as the rock photo scan, the higher polygon model. And then if you go into your normal mode, you'll start seeing it's trying to shrink wrap, but it doesn't have enough detail to do that. So what we're going to do, let's just jump into wireframe mode. We're going to slowly start adding more details. The first thing I want to do I'm going to add three loop cuts like that. Let's see what that looks like. Actually, that looks pretty good. Not a lot of work that I did there, but that looks pretty good. Let's just have a look. I want to see. I think uh, one more should be required there. Maybe one over there. We're going to add one over there. And one more in the middle there. Kind of looks like I'm missing out on that detail, but uh, that's something that I will fix up myself. Everything else looks pretty okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hit apply. Make sure that you're in object mode, otherwise it will not apply. Okay, let's quickly have a look and see what that looks like. So let's just hide that. It looks okay. It's not the best. The bottom piece needs a lot of work. Well, well the bottom of the model didn't actually have any um, geometry. It was just like a mess of holes. So we're just going to move these. I think I want to add a loop cut there. No, that's not going to work. It just adds too much detail to the top there. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this out a bit. And then we're going to select these and these all the way around. And then you can hit Control B to bevel. And then it will make the bottom look a little bit more round. So let's just bring our other model back. If you're wondering how I did that, if you select a model and you hit H, it hides it. If you hit Alt H, it unhides it. Alternatively, you can always just hit M and move it to a different layer, which you can access from the bottom here. I think the different layer might be the better setup. So let's just have a look. In that part, it does not capture very well. So let's quickly move this back. I'm going to select my low polygon model, tap to go into edit mode, then over here, I'm going to snap during transform, I'm going to change this to face. 
and then I'm just going to move these around a bit. Essentially what this is doing, this is allowing me to snap um, the vertices to the model a little bit better so that I can get some better spacing because if your spacing is off or, or too much or too little, the model will just look bad. So let's maybe move that to about there so that we can get that slight bump over there. The rest looks pretty good. I'm fairly happy. Maybe this one needs a bit more work. Essentially what you want to do is you want to see if you can cover most of your model. So if you want to add some extra details, some extra loop cuts, um, you're more than welcome to do that. I want to keep this as low polygon as possible. So that's what I'm going for here. Okay, so... That looks okay. Just gonna hit smooth shading. I'm going to move this back to the second layer. And that looks pretty good. I'm just not too happy with this. I'm just going to disable snap during transform and I'm just going to move that a little bit. I think what might be best here is if we just bevel these edges as well. It gives a smoother look instead of that sharp look that we had before. Okay, so I think that's it for my low polygon model. So let's get to the next part, which will be UV unwrapping. That will be covered in a different video. So if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading the next video shortly as well. So leave a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. But if you subscribe to my channel, I can make more videos like this, which will help you create your games or your models. So I thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.